gate, so we're, uh, I guess, starting our night halfway through, but I'll forward track this whole thing, or backtrack, whatever you want to call it. We're talking from the future. Um, here at uh, Royal Pruner Speedway for the BT Race for Mates race, um, which is a unique event because they do a USAC style uh, format. So time trials uh, sets your grids for the heat race, they invert the top uh, six from each heat, and then uh, top four qualify to maintain your grid for the feature. And if you're outside the top six, oh sorry, outside the top four in your heat race, you in theory go through the B and then qualify back for your grids. Um, so ideally, almost where you qualify is about where you start. So, um, and then there's a top six invert. So if you time trial in a top six, they invert the top six. So it's a good format because you kind of can't sandbag, you know, unless you're that good of a sandbagger to to uh, do that. Anyway, so. Uh, so time trials, we time trialed fourth in the end, so um, put a not bad lap, bit of a keeper that I laid down in the first lap and then in the second lap kind of, I guess, gave it the, the send and, and unfortunately got a little bit tight uh, coming off uh, four, so kind of blew probably a tenth or two just there, so um, anyway, long story of the short though, fourth was good enough, that gets us inside that top six too, so kind of, it means if we can uh, qualify through the heat, we'll be able to start out at grid three, so um, Fingers crossed uh, we can come out of the heat and uh, make it good.
he just had the heat race and what a absolute debacle that was. Um, it was up, down, and all around round. So uh, went forward, went back, had yellows, caused yellows. Unfortunately, got into the back of um, Liam McCubrey. Like you know, we both went in on the top hard, and I don't know whether someone in front of him checked him up or he checked up or whatever. But I, I went in flat and just nicked his rear bump, which unfortunately just turned him just a fraction. So um, kind of makes it hard for you know, like what do you do? Like you know, obviously sorry to Liam, but. It's just a tough deal, right? So um, then, yeah, kind of ran fifth for most of it, just struggling, um, and then I spun on the last lap, just stupidly burned it through the slick. I kind of been running all the top before that, so uh, burned it through the slick, and just the tail got away on me. So um, had a restart with one to go. Um, I mean, it even looks bad, like you're trying to fix shit and all that, but whatever. Um, and you know, got the the God send. I guess I was probably praying for. You know, um, looked like uh, Morgan got the bounce on Alec, got balked up behind him, and I was uh, just able to rail around Alec, you know, and, and nip the spot for fourth. So that should actually maintain our grid too. So um, yeah, fingers crossed. That I guess that puts us in now and and starting out a grid three. So kind of what I've been harping on a little bit about is is trying to get. And it's into a position and qualify well so we can start up there and not have to race our ass off and kind of risk, risk everything just to get into the kind of the, the, the top few cars to, to get away. So fingers crossed we've done enough this time and uh, I guess we wait now till, uh, till the feature.
was a, uh, it sucked, to be fair. Um, I guess we're running fifth, I think, in the end. Late yellow came out. I'd, the brake was getting a bit dicky, and um, back under that yellow, it just, it, it was gone. So I kind of ran through the middle into, into one, just so, so I was clear of anyone. And to double down on um, throttle, uh, sorry, the brakes being dicky and just not being there. The throttle decided to hang uh, like 5% or something. It, just, it was enough just to send me into panic mode and it was like, I was, felt like I was either going to drive it straight at the fence or uh, I just had to, to hang a left on it. Spin it out, so unfortunately stuck another red tail bar in the fence, which guts me to be fair. Um, yeah, you know, turned a turned a P5 finish to a, a DNF, which really really sucks. But we'll uh, we'll get this rig turned around. Um, just a matter of obviously going through this brake system. We had a similar issue at Harris late in the race as well, so really just need to get on top of what what's happened. Either there's water in the system, or s like something's fading under under extreme. Well, I shouldn't say extreme heat, but under a long run where it's getting warm. So either there's we've got some water in the fluid, or I'm thinking there's either a fitting which is getting hot and then bleeding, or, or you know leaking out but we we kind of gave the car a good once over around all the brake lines and, and fittings in the system and it seems to be no seepage or any like kind of residue where it's leaked out so. um yeah I'm, I'm starting to think we'll probably contamination with some water so we'll shoot to the edge in the morning and uh, get some some 5.1 fluid and, and go again